Godzilla versus Kong. King Kong versus Godzilla. They fought before, yes, they fought before, and some of you may even remember it. But who would actually win? Today, I'm going to look at a few videos from both sides of the reptile family and the primate family, and we're going to try and decide who would actually win in a fight using science. And I figured that the two best animals to represent these would be the Komodo dragon on the side of Godzilla, and obviously a gorilla on the side of King Kong. So, let's have a little look. And we'll make some decisions. Now in a fight between Godzilla and King Kong, I think it comes down to a few things. Yes, Godzilla has the atomic breath and he's basically an impenetrable monster. But on the other side of things, King Kong has a human-like ability to adapt and evolve and use his environment around him. That's right, I'm talking about tools. Now firstly, what's Godzilla going to do if King Kong rolls up like this? It's over. Godzilla's getting punched in the mouth and his lunch money's getting taken. It's as simple as that. He might even lose his chain. Now, if Godzilla was going up against a smaller monkey, it might end up like this. I would love to know who gets that close to any of these monsters. Like, literally, you're watching the Komodo dragon there, like, killing an animal, and you're like, Yo, bro, bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in close and get some footage for this for YouTube. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great, man. Did you see how it just demolished that buffalo in a couple bites? Yeah, I'm gonna, I, I think I'm gonna get closer. But you have to remember that King Kong is a gigantic gorilla. And when a gorilla starts to get angry, there's not too much things in the world that can stop him. Especially not a zookeeper. I don't know who the hell was shouting, get the zookeeper in here. But I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think the zookeeper wanted any piece of that. I'd be sitting there on my lunch break just like, bro, they're just working some stuff out, man. No, they'll be fine again. Happens all the time. They're like giant toddlers that could rip your arms and legs off and eat your skull. Let's take a little bit of a look at what Tearzu, my favorite YouTuber, has to say about both of these animals. Komodo dragons are extremely powerful. They have a venomous bite that, while not as powerful as cobra venom, is still powerful enough to seriously weaken even the tankiest builds. But even without that, they'd be an absolute powerhouse. Their tail swipes, claw slashes, and thrashing bites can easily shred through the HP of their targets. Their only real weakness is their speed, which, while solid, isn't broken by any means. Second from the top is the Gorilla, the primate with the highest power, defense, and HP. With their high-level social structure and insanely high base strength, there's really nothing that can pose any sort of challenge to them, as long as they remain with their party. I mean, they're both evenly stacked in different ways. Yes, the Komodo dragon has a powerful bite, but it's got stubby little limbs. Yes, it has venomous spit, but again, like I'm saying, if you get outmaneuvered in the way that a gorilla could outmaneuver a Komodo dragon, then how strong and resilient are you really going to be? Especially if he then picks up a rock and caves your bloody head in. Now, if Godzilla was a giant goose, however... But, to be fair to Godzilla, he does have the ability of the drop kick. But, also, King Kong has fought similar type creatures to Godzilla before. Remember when he was fighting that T-Rex? He fucked that T-Rex up. It was, it was something epic, man. Now, you can't rule out the fact that King Kong can actually use tools. See, personally, if I was there, like, refereeing the fight, I would probably call disqualification, you know? You can't just run in the ring with a steel chair and hit Godzilla over the head. That's not what... It's not a hardcore match. You know, it's a standard wrestling match. What, there can only be one winner, so I would have to disqualify... King Kong if that happens but at the same time if it is a hardcore match then I'm going to give the advantage to King Kong most definitely there's only one way to settle this run the simulations let them fight 
All right. Is this raw broken? I mean, he's beastly. He's definitely beastly. The people on the beach are just standing there watching. Get out of there, lady! <laughs> oh my god! <gasps> no! Get up! Fight back! Oh! Oh! Who's shooting at him? What is going on? <laughs> oh no, they're evenly matched, man. What is going? What is this? The body slam out of nowhere! <laughs> oh my god! Run, Godzilla! The cops is after you. Oh, he's stomping him. Godzilla says, fuck this, I'm going home, but King Kong says, no! I mean, as you can see, quite a realistic simulation right there. I'm pretty sure that it will come to a draw in some shape or form, and I feel like Stan Lee has said it best. The person who'd win in a fight is the person that the scriptwriter wants to win. These are fictitious characters. The writer can do whatever he wants with them. So stop asking those bonehead questions. And with the movie actually out today anyway, we will not have to discuss this any further because we can just watch the movie. So I hope you've enjoyed this. It was a little bit of fun. Obviously, it wasn't going to be scientific. I hope people know when I'm being sarcastic. I really don't think they do. But other than that, take care of yourselves. Look out for each other and peace. Peace.